And the Law Society of Kenya, or LSK, has picked up the case of Cynthia Nanjala's killing. The 20-year-old house help was allegedly raped and brutally assaulted and dumped in a secluded spot in Lunga Lunga slums in Nairobi last month. LSK has promised to help the family in seeking justice. Meanwhile, some witnesses have opened up to Citizen TV's Ben Kirui on the events of the fateful day that Nyanjala went missing. The journey to seeking justice for 20-year-old Cynthia Nanjala was allegedly raped, brutally assaulted and left unconscious in Lunga Lunga slums has received a boost after the Law Society of Kenya moved in to help the family. You LSK, who are finalizing the legal paperwork, says it has developed interest in the case, especially due to the social status of the late Nanjala's employer, who is alleged to have masterminded the heinous act. Cynthia Nanjala's employer, who has already recorded statements with the police, together with his wife, is a military officer. In a phone interview with Citizen TV, Maura Kabata, council member of the Law Society of Kenya and the coordinator in the Cynthia Nanjala case, said the society has gotten in touch with the family and will be escalating the case because the main culprit may escape justice. <laughs> This comes as the witnesses who have also recorded statements with police recount the events of that fateful day that Nanjala went missing. However, the witness who spoke to Citizen TV on conditions of anonymity dismissed the possibility of Cynthia Nanjala running away from her employer as it would have been noticed by either her sister who works directly opposite the building or the gate man. Cynthia, Sidani Kamali Toroka. Angetoka on the day she disappeared, Cynthia Nanjala was last seen collecting clothes from the rooftop of this apartment block in Feather Estate of Embakasi area. Police officers investigating the matter have recorded statements from a number of witnesses and pieced together what they say is crucial information that will help unraveling Nanjala's killers. The CCTV footage which would have been crucial in revealing the movements outside the building was unavailable to the investigators as the installed cameras are not operational. This according to the management. So far two people are in custody in connection with the murder.